we've been experiencing, along with the, the, the sexual abuse revelations, you know, almost a weekly mass shooting um, by men, <laughs> by men, exclusively men. If all these people were left-handed, if they had this one common strain, we'd be, we'd be investing billions of dollars to try and figure out why left-handed people are so crazy and dangerous, and we don't. You know, this gets to identity. Like, I don't chiefly identify as a man, and I don't chiefly identify my daughter as a, a girl or a woman. I chiefly identify the people in my family as the Cody family. It's not about me against the world as a man, but my family comes first and will be defended you know, as necessary, no matter what. I think the biggest thing is they're, aware, they're not aware of their privilege as men. Um, and I'm hyper aware of my privilege because I lived for 14 years as not a man. In middle school, a whole bunch of kids had to walk out of that school to protest sexual harassment. Those are boys growing up in Northampton who haven't learned the things I was trying to teach. The more that men buy into kind of traditional notions of masculinity, the more likely they are to have worse health outcomes. Do I see a difference in how young men are raised now and how I was raised as a young man, it's hard for me to tell. I guess the fact that I'm even hesitating suggests that I'm not really seeing the difference. If there really was, I would be able to point to it. There is definitely a conversation happening around it, but again, I'm seeing a lot of the same behaviors that I identify as privileged and empowered and, and dominating and aggressive. They're on a small scale, uh, but there's signs of what's to come.